Welcome to the Royce. Uh, we are here again to explore some important uh, areas of our life and topics as we have always done. Our topic today, I want to talk about the importance of investing in the next generation. This one now goes to our parents and even the, uh, those that are in authority. <clears throat> it is very, very key to make sure that we sacrifice and invest all we can to our next generation, that is to our children and those that will come after us. It is the only way that we can fully, that we can fully partake or that we can fully gain the promises of God uh, that he has promised each one of us by training and focusing in training the next generation. That is the only way we will gain fully the promises of God. And that's what we do in the Royce. It is our focus to train them up in the ways of God, raising a generation for Jesus Christ, soldiers for Christ. Uh, if you look at, um, if we can explore briefly on the, on the Bible times, this is what God did. He fulfilled the promises that he had given a certain generation with the next generation because our God is a generational God. He makes promises uh, that are multi-generational. And in most cases, you find that um, he had fulfilled those promises in the next generation. If we look at Adam, when Adam and Eve sinned against God, God promised them victory through their offspring. If we come to Abraham, God promised, uh, he, had, he had great promises from God, but uh, God fulfilled that promise through his offspring, that is through his descendants, Akina Jacob. When we come to King David, he desired, King David desired so much to build a house for God, a temple for God. He corrected silver, he corrected gold, he corrected everything that was needed to build the house of God. And when he was just about to, to, uh, to, to now build, God told him, stop. He, uh, God fulfilled this desire and promise through his son or his descendant or his children, that is Solomon. In the book of 1 Kings 18.17, and even our God, that is God the Father, he fulfilled or effected salvation for mankind through his own son. And when, when Jesus was born and he came to fulfill his purpose on earth, he built in the, in the lives of his disciples. Uh, he, that is, who would succeed him? He really invested on them, his, uh, his, uh, his uh, desires, uh, that is his character, he invested in them. And then that they would build and continue building on the foundation that he had, uh, that he had laid. Uh, <clears throat> so you find that uh, the, this one started, uh, this, uh, this one started, God started this even uh, during, uh, during the time of Moses. Moses uh, very well and ably brought the children of Israel out from Egypt. But what Moses did as he continued to, uh, to fulfill his mandate for God, uh, he invested in, in Joshua. He brought up Joshua as, a, um, as his successor. Joshua, and then Joshua became a great leader following the death of Moses. It was under the leadership of Joshua that the Israelites, uh, that is, entered the promised land. However, the land wasn't uh, empty. It was, um, it, was occupied by, it was occupied by fierce people who lived about the fortified cities. But Joshua was courageously was able to lead the children of Israel, uh, to, to, that is, to take over this land. Except through great determination, he had great determination, he pitched a warfare and he was able to take, uh, to take the children inside the, the promised land. In this age, I want to speak to our, to our young people there. In this age and times, as a young person, you cannot achieve your dream, you cannot achieve your success or what you desire, except through great determination, and you must pitch a warfare over your destiny and over your life. 
and what is that that you you dream to become what is that you dream to achieve you must you must acquire this what we call um, the Joshua principle that is of fighting until you occupy to our leaders and to us as parents we have great promises from our God but we will only fulfill or realize them if only uh, we give ourselves to loving and training up our children. Uh, if you are a parent and there is a promise you desire or there is something you desire to realize in future, that is our happiness you desire to see in future, you will not acquire that by investing in that happiness. You may not acquire it, but you'll only acquire it if you invest in your children rightly, godly values, godly character, taking them through the path of God. And that time, the in the future, when you'll not be there, when you'll not be, you'll not have the energy uh, to do when you're old, in our old age, these children will fulfill what you desired. The, uh, if you fail to do that, maybe through your carelessness or neglect or selfishness on your part, you will have little chance of happiness in the future. Uh, as a nation, a nation that knows that its future lies in the young people, they invest in them. Maybe resources, maybe in training them up, maybe in our education, they invest. In a nation that does not know that it has no future. So, if you care about your future, that you will one day have to live in, then you mu we must acquire, or you must acquire this principle. That is the Joshua principle, investing in our young people. It's only by investing in them, in the next generation, that you or we can see a world we look or we hope to find, uh, or we hope we hope to live in rather than a world we dread. And therefore, I encourage all of us, let us acquire the Joshua principle, investing in our young people. God bless. Interruption. And that is why we have our next youth interruption. Oh, yes. That is why we all, we here on the roads, we keep on organizing uh, maybe seminar, that is interactions, where we come, we interact with the young people uh, so that we are able to invest in them. We are able to, to, to equip them. So our next interaction is coming this month of March on the 19th, a Saturday, there at Milere Resort. Make sure as a young person, you are there, as a, as a parent, encourage your young people, to, your young person, to come there and meet with us. We will be discussing a very important pot, uh, topic, toxic masculinity and toxic feminicity. So make sure you don't miss. There at Milere, let us meet with other young people. God bless you. Also, I encourage you to subscribe to the Roy's at, a, at, a, uh, at a Roy's for Christ in YouTube and even in Facebook. There you'll find many topics that will build you and even positive materials that are tailored towards, uh, towards uh, the educative thing, our young people. God bless you.